It's been almost three weeks since the 1 October shooting, but the deep emotional scars it could leave on many could last years, if not lifetimes. As 13 Action News reporter Annalise Ortiz shows us, a UNLV professor is hoping to find out what kind of psychological impact the tragedy had on our community. Among 58 crosses, survivors and strangers cry together, pray together, leave final words. Here you go, sir. Annette Yaruso has been bless. here handing out crosses. Would you like one, ma'am? Almost every night since October 1st. To make people remember. And I think it's a good um, memorial for people. It gives people strength. Thousands brought together for the same reason all have different stories. Stephen Benning, a psychology professor at UNLV, wants to hear them. Telling stories about trauma can really help people heal. Anyone who was at the concert or just heard about it on the news can take part in their research. This is something that affected a lot of people's view of the city and their safety. Then Benning and his students will study the answers, hoping to learn more about what kinds of people are susceptible to post-traumatic stress disorder and hoping to help other communities. I'm hoping that this will be something we never have to deal with again in Vegas, but other places may need to. There you go. God bless. Thank you. Here at the memorial site, Yerusso's heard many stories. She hopes because of this study, more people will listen in. It's part of the natural healing. I think it's all about what's important about it is not so much a study, but being together and building the community of Vegas. We will have all the information about how you can get involved with this research study online at KTNV.com. Annalise Ortiz, 13 Action News.